the left block and figure moves at a speed v towards the right block placed in equilibrium all collision to take place are elastic and the surfaces are frictionless show that the motion of the two blocks are periodic find the time period of this periodic motion fine now i'll tell you what is happening first of all it is given that all the collisions are elastic fine so let's say this mass m moves with a velocity v towards the right what will happen that elastic collision will takes place between m and m this m will lose complete its velocity and transfer it velocity to the this block fine now this block will move with a velocity v it will get compressed fine it will come back to its position where the block mass small m is already present again collide again this block will transfer its velocity v to this block this block will travel a distance l then take an elastic collision it will change its direction but the velocity will be same again so it will again come back here travel the distance l again collide with this block which is attached to spring and again the same process will takes place so the total time period of the whole process will be equal to the time taken by the block let's say this is my block 1 this is my block 2 so the time taken by block 1 to complete its half of the cycle that is compressing the spring and coming back to its original position that is let it be t1 and the second time that is the time taken by the block 2 to travel a distance l and again traveling a distance l to come back to this position fine now what is happening is that this block m1 let's say for block 1 the block 1 is performing the simple harmonic motion fine uh, with a velocity of let's say half of mv square it will be completed it will be completely changed to a spring energy half of kx square so i can write the compression can be equal to mv square by k under root fine now time period will be equal to 2 pi under root of m by k this is the time period for the shm performed by block 1 but what actually happening is that block is not performing complete shm it is going to extreme position and coming back to its mean position from mean to extreme and extreme to back to mean so the total time p1 will be equal to half of the time period it will be equal to m by under root of m by k right now let us talk about for block 2 the total time it will take to cover the distance 2l can be easily calculated by distance upon velocity that is 2l by v so i have have a value of t1 and t2 now so the total time period of the complete motion will be equal to t1 plus t2 and that is equal to pi under root of m by k plus 2l by v that is the answer